got some EP dubbing brush here, Summer Latte. We've got Gamagatsu SL12S, six odd, big game hook, really good hook. We've got two colors of flash boo. We got this like peacock color, and then we have some pink flash boo or red flash boo. You can use either or. Got some black Chinese saddle hackle to go along with it. Some red and black bucktail. We're using some E6000 to uh, glue the eyes on there. Some 3 8 diameter uh, predator eyes. Some Danville 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. We start off, we get our thread built up on the hook here. So we can have a nice base. So we take some black bucktail and we're just gonna do a little base for the saddle hackle here. Tie this in right out around the hook point. Like so. Kinda open that up. Now we have a little base here for the saddle hackle. Now we're gonna take four black saddle hackle, but we wanna find the right ones. We're looking for a nice, thick, webby piece that's not all chewed up. So I'm gonna find Take my time here, let's find a good good four feathers for it. So we're using a fairly uh, fairly long saddle hackle that's pretty stiff. And you can see here's a good example. So what we're gonna do is when we tie this in, Instead of tying it in uh, completely um, straight, you know, horizontally, side to side, we're actually gonna angle it kind of sl slightly up. So if you take this feather and you tie it like so, at a slight curve up, it's gonna be less prone to fouling. So we'll go ahead and we'll tie two on each side. Again, remembering that we're gonna kind of angle it slightly up when we tie it in. We want it to be right around there. Let's tie that in right about where we tied the bucktail last time by the hook point. Okay, so we have our first saddle hackle in. We'll take a second one here. This fly is going to be right a little over six inches around there. And then we just tie one more on either side. Again, kind of slightly curve it up. So what you can do is take the feather and kind of tilt it down a little towards the front. So now you have a nice stiff tail here that'll have a lot of action, but won't be very prone to uh, fouling, which is important. So now we'll take three or four pieces of each color of flash. So I'm gonna grab a couple of the dark pieces of flash and a couple of the uh, pink here. So what you do is you take your flash and you fold it like so, and then you just you know line it up evenly, and then you take your flash here and you just kind of go right over like so, loop it in place and tie it in spreading it to either side. And then what we like to do is we like to cut it a little short here, just so it's a little less prone to fouling as well, if it's not as long as the feathers. We're gonna take our red bucktail and we're gonna do a collar of red bucktail around the outside. So we want this to be about two thirds of the length of the feathers, maybe halfway there, around there. So we go up a little bit ahead of the, uh, the feathers because we want a little bit of a gap in between the feathers and the bucktail. Tie some up top, take your thumbnail and kind of spread that around. We'll tie some more on the bottom here. There we go. So we just move a little forward to that. Again, have a little bit of a gap here. We're gonna take our black bucktail do a collar of black bucktail top and bottom here. A little shorter than the last one. You don't want it to be longer than the last bucktail you tied in. You want it to kind of taper down slightly. Move that around, make sure that's looking good. Make 
sure we lay some thread down here in the front. Okay, so now we're gonna take our dubbing brush. And this is a red and black EP dubbing, dubbing brush, Foxy, three inch wide. So we take this bad boy, we're gonna tie it in. I'm gonna cut the wire a little bit because we don't want that to protrude too far. We'll take that dubbing brush here, and tie this bad boy in. So now we take a little bit of super glue. This just is a little insurance that it's not gonna come apart after one fish or two fish. It'd be pretty durable. Just take a little bit of super glue and put that in like so right there. So now we take our, our dubbing brush here and we're gonna use half of the dubbing brush for this six odd slammer. So what I do is I kind of take the dubbing brush and I kind of pull it back like so. So it starts going backwards. And then what we do is we just nice and neatly, we just wrap this forward or palmer it, as you would say. Again, about half the brush. Nice tight wraps. You know, you don't want to suffocate the, <laughs> the last wrap, but you kind of want to make sure you have enough room to, to fit everything in here. You get a nice fat dubbing head. nice color to it that red and black up the front okay so we kind of tie that off right at the front I do a couple wraps back kind of pull the brush make sure it's nice and tight on there and then we fold it back do a couple wraps in front and we're gonna cut that wire real fine here right up against the thread like so you have a little bit of wire kind of poking up. You got to be careful. We got to take our, uh, our thumb here and kind of press that down. So we got our thread here. We're covering up that wire. So now we're just going to tie this off here at the front. Take our brush here. Now we're going to brush this out. So the hair is kind of all bunched up. So what we do is we just take our brush here. And with a good amount of force, we kind of just brush this out. Make sure all the hairs are kind of opened up and aren't trapped underneath themselves there we go so you can see we have a real nice profile here now so now we're ready to put the eyes on looking good i think first i'm just going to take a you can use head cement you can just use a little bit of super glue here i just want to cover up those threads i'll put some head cement on that later we got our little 3 8 eyes here so now we're gonna take some of the e6000 here we take our eye and we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the back side of the eye so i'm gonna make sure i have the eye set up right here okay so we take a little bit of glue right off the back of the eye like so i don't know if you can see this here right on the back side and then what we do is we just take this eye we kind of spread some of that glue on the side there and then we lay the eye down you can see kind of how the eyes there on the front and now we're just gonna push that eye back and it's gonna spread that glue all over the back of the eye without uh, having it come smushing out all over the place and giving us a crappy looking eye on there nice and clean now we'll do the other side And if some of the, the glue comes out, you can kind of clean it up with your fingers. Or you can also take the, the material and kind of tuck it in underneath it. So that glue's a little, you know, it's not that, it's not visible. Just little tips and tricks to get a nice clean looking eye, you know. There we go. That's the GT Slammer right there, which we tie for saltwaterflies.com. Beautiful looking fly. So you can see, we'll give you a front and side profile here. Front profile, side. Again, make sure your eyes are kind of lined up evenly. And what you're going to do is you're going to press them down, but 
what's going to happen is you're going to in about five or ten minutes the eyes will expand or the glue will expand slightly so you got to take it and you need to um, kind of press them down a little bit just make sure they're kind of seated in there well and there you go you got yourself a giant trevally fly one of the best around well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that step-by-step -step of the GT Slammer. Again, you can find this fly and all the materials over at saltwaterflies.com. We recorded this step-by-step -step live at our Twitch, twitch.tv slash liflyesmike. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. As always, tight lines and good luck this season out on the water.